كل عمليات الاحتيال التي يتعرض لها الناس يوميا ما زلنا في البداية تحذير من العقل المدبر للذكاء الاصطناعي سام ألتمان الرئيس التنفيذي لشركة أوبن اي اي قال قريبا سيصبح بإمكان أي شخص تزييف صوت أو ملامح أو شخص آخر باستخدام تقنيات الذكاء الاصطناعي المتطورة تخيل أن ألتمان خلال جلسة نقاش أجراها مع نائبة رئيس الاحتياط الفيدرالي الأمريكي عبر عن قلقه من أن طرق الاحتيال ستكون مقنعة بشكل مرعب خلال الفترة المقبلة سواء من خلال المكالمات الصوتية المزيفة أو حتى عبر اتصالات ربما يستحيل التمييز بينها وبين الواقع. A thing that terrifies me is apparently there are still some financial institutions that will accept a voice print as authentication for you to like move a lot of money or do something else. You say a challenge phrase and they just do it. AI has fully defeated most of the ways that people authenticate. currently other than like passwords i am very nervous that we have an impending a significant impending fraud crisis because of this um we have tried i think other people in our industry have tried to sort of warn people like hey just because we're not releasing the technology doesn't mean it doesn't exist some some bad actor is going to release it this is not a super difficult thing to do this is coming very very soon um and you know there's obviously some reports now of these sort of like ransom attacks where people have the voice of your kid or your parent and they make this urgent call. Um, that is going to get so compelling. Society has to deal with this problem more generally, but people are going to have to change the way they interact. Right now it's a voice call, soon it's going to be a video FaceTime. It'll be indistinguishable from reality. Um, and teaching people how to authenticate in a world like that, how to think about you know, the, the fraud impacts, this is a huge